everybody, Jose here. Thank you for watching Reaching Higher, where our goal is to help you get unstuck, move forward, and succeed God's way in every area of your life. Thank you so much for watching part two. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the little uh, bell icon so that you can get the alerts on when we post a new video. Also, uh, at the description of this video, there is a free resource that we created specifically for you so that you can design 2019 and reach your goals this year. So let's say your goal this year, one of your goals, and you might want to break this down. Let's say one of your goals this year is to read more books. Well, let's say you wrote down read more in 2019. Well, how do you break this down? And if you watch the video um, that I created, the first part of this video, you have to break down your goals. You have to. You can't just say, "I want to go from here to there" without breaking down the details of where there is. So the same thing with wanting to develop and wanting to grow as a person. So if you want to read more in 2019, which a lot of people I think want to, you need to understand that you need to break it down. So part of breaking it down is this. All right, let's say you want to read more and you're like, I'm not really a reader. So make yourself re reasonable, attainable goals, right? We've all heard that possibly. So you don't want to say, well, I don't like reading, but I'm going to read and I'm going to read 20 books. Well, that's kind of unrealistic and you're setting yourself up for failure, kind of far reach to start. So let's say you, you don't really read or if you really are not into, not into reading, let's say you're like, but you know what, I'm, I'm gonna push myself to read more books. So here's the deal. You wanna break it down into bite-sized pieces, like I said. So let's say your goal is to read more in 2019. Here's how you break it down. Well, determine how many books you wanna read. Well, let's say your goal is to read five books, right, five books. That's a reasonable goal for someone who really doesn't wanna read. So five books, this year, 2019, now it's becoming, the vision is becoming more clear of what you want to accomplish this year as far as reading more. Five books. So now, I'm not into reading. If, if that's you, if that's what you're saying, well, then you need to determine, since since you're not really into reading, then what is it that, that, that calls your attention? What is it that is attractive to you? What draws your attention or what gets you upset? Or what is your passion? And find books on those subjects. But let's say this year one of your other goals is you want to get closer to God. That's one of your other goals. You want to get closer to God. So here's how you can tie these two together. You want to read more and you want to get closer to God and you want to develop. Well, then you break it down into your books, right? So five books and you break down which types of books. So, so which types of books, right? Which types of books? So let's say I recommend you start reading one of the books in the Bible. The Bible has 66 books combined in one book. So let's say you say, you know what? I'm going to read the book of Psalms this year. So the first book that you're going to read is the book of Psalms, right? I don't know if that's an S. I'm Puerto Rican. I add S's to everything. I don't know why. But so, so let's say the first book you're going to read is the book of Psalm. You're going to focus on reading. But now the book of Psalm is a pretty, pretty, a lot of chapters in that book. So you want to break this down even more <clears throat> because you want to set yourself up for success. So let's say you're going to read one Psalm every morning. So break this down and say, I'm going to read one chapter, as they're called, one chapter every morning. All right? One chapter every morning. And then you might say, and I'm going to read one chapter at night. One chapter at night. Okay? So one chapter in the morning, one chapter at night, you're gonna start reading this book and that's how you're gonna start breaking it down, all right? And then you do the same thing for the other books. So you research, what is it that, like I said, start with your interests, 
Start with what you're interested in. And then read those books. And then if you don't, if you don't really know where to start, well then Google top five books to read for 2019. Or let's say, like I said, one of your desires is to get closer to God, start with the Bible, right? Break, break down into Psalms or, or whatever chapter you want. Maybe it's the life of Jesus. And then maybe another one is you want to get healthier this year. It's probably another one of your goals. But what does that mean? Well, I'm, I'm, I want to get healthier by maybe not eating or eating more organic. Well, you might want to get Dr. Axe's book, uh, Eat Dirt, right? So you break that down and you eat, I mean, and you, you break it down and you read that book. But now, when you're reading a book, it, you can easily be, you can easily tie, or, or you can be basically overwhelmed by the book, because it's probably a big, bigger book than what you normally would read. So let's say, you, you can't just say, I'm going to read, right? That's one of my goals, I'm going to read this book. No, you want to break it down a little bit further. I'm going to read, because if you say I'm just going to read it, well, what does that mean? Are you going to read a sentence? Are you going to read a paragraph? Are you going to read a page? You want to be specific, so that way you hold yourself accountable, and you reach your goals. So you want to say, I'm going to read at least five pages a day of this book. Five pages. So you know that you're going to move through this book pretty quickly, because you're reading five pages so now, you're going to realize how long does it take me to read five pages. So that way you're going to set aside some time, whether it's waking up early or staying a little later, or maybe during your lunch break, and read and make sure you get those readings done. So that way, at the end of the year, you'll be able to achieve your goals and you accomplish your goals. I heard someone once said, and it was Ed Milet. If you never heard of Ed Milet, I encourage you to go to his channel and subscribe to his podcast. Such a great guy. And he said this. He said, in order to boost your self-confidence, if you want to boost your self-confidence this year, 2019, and crush these goals and all the goals that you have, you need to do this one thing. Keep the promises that you make to yourself. All right? Keep the promises that you make to yourself. If you say you're going to do something, do it. If you say you're going to read five pages, read it. If you say you're going to read a chapter a day, read it. And if you keep the promises to yourself, you're going to start seeing your self-confidence begin to build. And you're going to keep crushing these goals. And you're going to thrive and design 2019. Again, thank you for watching. Make sure you download that free guide on the description. And make sure if you haven't already, subscribe and share this video if you think it's helpful for someone else. Thank you. Take care.